Hey guys, today is day 30 of Vader. Is that the last day? <laughs> I don't even know. What is my life? Yes, it's the last day of Vader. So I've woken up, I've had my breakfast, as you can see there on that plate. I've been talking to Gregory on Facebook. And I've just started to catch up on my vlogs from yesterday because clearly I missed out on quite a few being on set for 14 hours since 4 a.m. <gasps> Excuse me. And I'm just catching up on Chris Thompson's video about an update on how he's going with Sup Healthy. And look what I find. Sean Perez is actually a personal trainer. So if you guys are using the hashtag Sup Healthy, go ahead and direct some of your questions at Sam Sean Perez as well. And he can answer some of your questions. What just happened? Oh my god. Oh my god. Chris Thompson just... Ah! Yeah, this is me fangirling right now. Like, what? What? Can we... Just what? Oh, I'm so glad. Because I just want to be able to help people and reach out to them and help them get on their way. And this is just so good. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. I'm so glad to be a part of the Sup Healthy community. This is so, so good. Yes. Go team. And if you're part of Sup Healthy, go. Go for it. Direct any questions that you have fitness related down my way, okay? Leave them in the comment box below. In about 25 minutes, I have to do some office work. So I'm going to keep, keep up with these vlogs that I need to catch up on. I'm going to tweet Chris right now. It is 3.51 p.m. I am on my way to the car because I had to park it all the way up in Whoop Whoop because there was no car parks around. Work this morning was hectic. I did not stop. If it wasn't with the drama that was happening with, the, uh, with today's promotion, it would have been booking and confirming interviews for next Thursday because we need to get more staff onto the books and following up other emails so it was intense needless to say there's more ongoing work and I have things to do tomorrow morning as soon as I start yeah, then Lauren and I my housemate we went up to buy some cat litter for her cats and then we stopped by Westfield so she can do some groceries and while we were there, it was really funny. I feel sorry for old Asian men. Um, I kind of find I kind of find that they get the short end of the stick when it comes to marriages. For some reason, I always see old, frail Asian men get bossed around, get screamed at, get yelled at by their more robust, energetic, sprightly wives. But it's always happened when they've been angry. Like, the wives would always just yell, rah, 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 rah. And the old frail men are like, oh, okay, I have to do what she says. In particular with this incident, the old man was actually fighting back. And he wasn't just giving up without a fight. And in the end, she won. But he was like, meh, 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 meh. Um, so that was, that was a bit funny, I must admit. But yes, um, hopefully traffic won't be too bad because it's not dreary weather. It's, it's nice and bright. Hopefully there's no accidents, so the M5 should be okay. But guys, this is the last of Vader. This is the last day of Vader. Like, it's done. Vader is done. So what are we going to do? Are we going to continue? Should we continue? I think we should continue. Hmm. Maybe we should continue. I'm feeling we will keep going with these daily vlogs. A spinach and basil pesto with coconut oil, garlic and lemon. Tomato olive reduction and caramelised onion with rosemary. Can we please appreciate this food? <laughs> just, just appreciate all of this. Just. It's not finished yet. So it's a sweet potato lasagna, correct? Yes. With amazingness. So Lauren's been on a paleo diet, and this, ladies and gentlemen, is the epitome of health. 
for all of the you doing Sup Healthy's monthly challenge fitness thingy and Paul and Chloe so just just some ideas of some health this is what health looks like okay just just appreciate and understand <laughs> the concept of health <laughs> Did you get my cider in the background? It's probably not as healthy. Yeah, no, you, you need... But it still has you, fruit you, in it. You, you need cider. No, that, that's that's part of a healthy diet. Yeah. It, it is, yeah. <laughs> it is past 8 o'clock and my knee is killing me. Um, excuse me, belt. Rude. Why did you end up on the floor? It's just rude. Um... Yeah, my knee is killing me. I think I did something to it during Zumba because it's like a nerve thing because it's starting at the knee and it's finishing down on my foot. So I'm assuming that's a nerve thing. But yes, class was interesting. I had 22 people, which is the lowest I've had in months. Maybe like eight months, almost close to a year. 22 people, but it was still good. I had a real, I had a new new girl in my class, first time I did the gym at all. She looked like she had some fun, so that was really cool. Respect to Brett. My for most of the trip home, so that was really nice to catch up with him. The last day of Vader, guys. It is the last day. Whew. So with that, I will leave it. I hope you had some fun during Vader. In the comment box below, I would like to know what your favourite Vader moment was. Let me know, because I'd really, really like to know. For now, I will say goodbye, good night, and I will see you tomorrow for a non-Vader, but daily video. Bye.